going on stallions it is your boy drew silva here and today is stallion cheat day number four and uh, today i've decided to go alongside my buddy matt What's up? we're gonna go to wall burgers <laughs> one of the best burger joints well really the main reason why i'm going is because mark Wahlberg and paul Wahlberg and they Wahlberg. they show up there so maybe we'll see an appearance from them that would be nice but regardless, I hear they got really good burgers, really good food. So I'm going to check it out and see what all the hype's about. Now, Andrew, Wahlberg. That's the, from, they make the Wally fries, right? E, not too sure, honestly. They founded the Waller? The Waller? Yeah. No, nah, I don't know if that's a thing, man. <laughs> My friend Matt knows more about the Wahlbergs than I do, apparently. But we Their father is Wally Wahlberg, right? Correct. Yes. <laughs> so uh yeah we're gonna go check it out and see what all the hype is about so hope you guys enjoy the meal that's about to come up That's really good. It's a very it's a Mexican burger, but the ingredients they use very good. I definitely would rate that five out of five. That's good. This is the barbecue bacon burger. Let's try it. What do you say? This mouth's a little full, so you can't really. No, no, ten. One of the best burgers I've ever had. I'm not gonna lie. Very good. So I'm just gonna say we drove over an hour away for this. And this was by far the best place we've been to so far. Listen, forget the whole Wahlberg name, Mark, Donnie, Paul. It's not about that. It's about good food, good quality food. And my stallions, my friends, this is good food. This is like, this is good food. Good burgers, good mac and cheese. Actually, I'm gonna try it right now. I'll show you guys, look right here. Little bit of mac and cheese, got bacon bites too. There we go. That's like, you can't beat that. This is what Boston's like, you know? You go to Boston, you go to Mass, there's good food everywhere you go. And this is no different. For all the stallions out there, this is a good place. Wahlburgers and Hingham, Mass. You go to Hingham, you go to Boston, go to Wahlburgers. I got the Fiesta Burger, mac and cheese with bacon bites, and it was really good. Um, they have a lot of good food here, so definitely come and check it out. Yo, what is going on, Stallions? I am back from Wahlburgers. And I gotta say, it was pretty awesome. Once again, those burgers were really good. There's a lot of hype, you know, surrounding that restaurant, but I can see why for good reason. It is an amazing 
restaurant. It's got great quality burgers, great service, quick, easy, delivered, and it's it's great. Those burgers were fantastic. The Fiesta burger, the one I had, was amazing. Had that Mexican flavor, a little bit of spiciness with the jalapenos, had the cheese, had everything built in ingredient-wise. It was amazing, and I really enjoyed it. It was great. Um, but yeah, I'm back, back at home, and I am going to be having dessert. The reason why I'm filming this part as well is because I want you guys to know what dessert I'm having, because this is ice cream that's been around for a little bit, but uh, it's, it's good ice cream, and it's probably one of the best ice cream, not only for cheat days, but even on your regular week, like, you know, on your regular strict diets during the week. Um, it's... Halo Top ice cream, as you can see here. I have chocolate today, but there's like eight other flavors. There's birthday cake. There's, um, uh, what else is there? There's vanilla. There's, uh, there's mint chip. Birthday cake, I think I mentioned. Um, what else? There's peanut butter cup. There's a bunch of different flavors. There's like nine or ten total. Um, it's an amazing ice cream, and one reason why it's so amazing is because a whole pint of this is only 280 calories. 280 calories, plus you get about, depending on the flavor and what you have, as you can see from the back, on the nutrition facts, you can get anywhere from like 20 to 25 grams of protein, at least, with a pint of this. And you also get low carbs with this, low calories. As you can see, servings, it's... Four servings per container. One serving of this is 70 calories, and then obviously four would be 280. And, you know, this is pretty dope for ice cream to have because a lot of ice cream, especially if you see like Ben & Jerry's, Hood, all those main brands, their ice cream is like in the three, four hundreds in calories just based on their serving sizes. Plus, they have a ton of carbs, a ton of sugar. Um, obviously, you know, it's typical dessert. Uh, something like this with Halo Top you're getting this and you can eat this as like a snack as and it's it's somewhat it's healthy you know because it actually comes with proteins uh, it also has calcium a couple nutrients you know it's pretty good for you honestly obviously I wouldn't say have it every single day I mean if you wanted to and it fit your macros by all means but I mean if you can do it in moderation and you know how to add it into your diet this is a blessing in disguise this is a blessing, period. It's not even in disguise. This is coming right at you in your face. Halo top right there. And it's amazing food. Um, amazing ice cream, I should say. Um, yeah, I just wanted to review it and just let you guys know because I know a lot of people, they see products in the, in the fitness industry and nutrition industry, and some of them are good and some of them are, you know, not really. Like, they might have good nutritional facts, so to speak, but their flavor might not be good, it might not taste good, it might not be as good as you may think, you may realize. I mean, I didn't, you know, graduate as, you know, somebody in that studied nutrition science or anything like that, but I'm just going based off my taste buds, based off what I do know about nutrition already, and based on the fact that I do lift and I do bodybuild and I do keep up with my, you know, physique, because I do plan to do competitions in the future. So with that being said, I do try to make sure I watch my macro as well and make sure I watch the calories I'm consuming. And this is overall a great product. It's a great, you know, it's great ice cream and it's good for you in the sense that you can fit it into your diet and not feel like a piece of crap because you had ice cream on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday. For me, I'm having it on my cheat day, so it wouldn't matter if it was this ice cream or any other ice cream, it wouldn't make a difference. But it's really tasty. It tastes just like ice cream, and on top of that, it has really good, you know, nutritional value. At least a lot better than a lot of the ice cream that you see out there. Like, there's, like, Ben Jerry's cups, not even pints, like, little cups that they sell in the grocery stores. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. You've probably seen these before. And while they taste great, they're really high in sugar and calories and carbs. Uh, a cup of that is, like, probably the amount of calories you get from one pint of this um, plus there's way more carbs and sugars and, you know, it's definitely something you wouldn't have in your typical dieting week. I mean, your cheat day, it doesn't matter, but during a typical week of, you know, strict dieting, you would never have that because it would never fit and it would never really work out in your favor. So, yeah, man, 
and this is not an advertisement. I did not get paid to do this or anything like that. I'm just speaking from the heart. I've been trying. I've been eating ice cream since I was a little kid. I was one of those weirdos growing up that didn't really have a sweet tooth for chocolate, but I did have a sweet tooth for certain desserts like cake and ice cream. Like ice cream has been one of my favorite desserts and like sweets overall since I I've been growing up since I was a little kid. And honestly, Halo Top really has nutritional value, and it's one of those ice. It's like one of those brands where it's like, wow, this really only has so many calories in a pint. And a pint isn't like something you can just down in two seconds. This is like, you know, it takes a little bit of time to finish a pint, you know? And you can go through more than one pint, especially on my cheat day. I'm probably going to eat this and birthday cake just to top off the day. So, yeah, it's it's been a fun cheat day in that degree. And I do hope that you guys, you know, learned something from this because, like I said, Halo Top, if you look in the nutritional facts, I'll show it again. A lot of it is basically lower carbs, you know, there's a certain amount of grams of protein, there's calories right there, there's, you know, all, you know, it describes your serving size, it describes how everything's gonna, you know, come together in this cup of ice cream, in this pint of ice cream, and Halo Top's really good. It is. I'm not, honestly, I'm gonna show you how good it is. Ready? Guilt-free zone, keep digging. Listen to them. It is a guilt-free zone when you eat this. Trust me on that. I do not feel guilty one bit. This is A1. A1 ice cream. Bam. 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 Ooh. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. Bam. That's good ice cream. Um, so yeah, go to, if you want to go get this, go to Whole Foods. Whole Foods, Stop and Shop, Shaw's. You'll be able to find it in any of those stores. They have Halo Top in different flavors. Probably Whole Foods is your absolute best bet, even though it's a little bit pricey, but Whole Foods has pretty much every flavor possible of this, as far as I know. And yeah, this is really good ice cream overall. I will also be doing more reviews of other nutritional food products you know, that are within the fitness industry. And yeah, I'm going to inform you guys on what I think my opinion is, how it affects my training and my dieting, how it can affect your dieting and your training as well. And just to make you aware of whether it fits your macros, whether it fits into your protein, your fats, your carbs, your calories you're consuming, if it's a good choice or if it's a bunch of crap. Because some of the things that are sold out there in the industry, honestly, and within food and health in general, is a bunch of crap. Not all of it, but some of it is crap, and some of it is processed and not as good for you as you may think. So I want to keep everybody informed and basically educate the masses and see, you know, what's good and what's not for your body. Because that matters to me, but it matters ultimately for you guys, because... If you don't know what you're putting in your body, then you're never going to see the results that you want to see within your body. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stallion Cheat Day. It was pretty fun going down to Boston. Hadn't been to Boston all summer. So, it was fun going out there and trying out some new food. Some really good food. I'll say that. Shout out to Paul Wahlberg and the Wahlbergs. That was really good food. I really appreciated it the good comforting food that came from that restaurant so as always guys i hope you guys enjoy your cheat days today and this is drew silva peace out